Hey everybody, Jake here with American Trucks, and today I'm talking with Rob about his 2006 Ford F-150 STX. He is running 17 by nine inch Raptor Gen 1 style wheels with a plus 34 millimeter offset. He's also got Supreme Suspension's one and a half inch wheel spacers on there, making this an aggressive setup for his wheels. He's running Ironman Mud Country 35 by 12 and a half inch R17 tires. And for suspension, he's got a Rough Country four inch lift kit with Freedom Off-Road upper control arms and Freedom Off-Road one to four inch adjustable front coilover. So what made you choose this type of setup? Was there some kind of inspiration behind why you built the truck this way? It started off that I wanted to just have, you know, truck, nice little leveling kit, 33s, nothing fancy. But like any gearhead, I just, I had to customize it. I had to go further and see how far I could push things. Pretty much I wanted to have something where I could do a little bit of light off road and, you know, maybe go do some camping trips and stuff like that. So let's then dive into the wheels. So again, you've got the 17 by nine inch Gen 1 Raptor style wheels with a 34 millimeter offset. And you're also running those Supreme Suspension one and a half inch wheel spacers. So again, this is a pretty aggressive stance. You've got some tire poking out from the fender there. What do you like about this wheel? What drew you to it? Uh, I like the way it looks. I'm a big fan of black. I don't like a lot of polished aluminum or chrome everywhere. So the balance of it for me was really good. Being like the Raptor style, I just love the way it looked on the trucks pokes out, but it's not, you know, one of those builds where it's insanely out wide, you know, two, three inches. It's like an inch and a half, give or take, and it looks pretty nice. Was there something that drew you to these versus like maybe a larger wheel or a little more flashy in some ways? Pretty much it was a mixture of the look of it with the price that was available at the time. Uh, I don't really like things too flashy, so it kind of just fit my style. So coming back to the stance then, normally these would be a pretty stock type of fitment here. But since you've got those one and a half inch wheel spacers, this is going to make it a little bit more aggressive. So what made you go with that type of setup? Well, when I first got the wheels, I had 33s on. So they fit good. It, you know, it looked real clean. But when I did the four inch lift and I wanted to go up to, you know, a 35 inch 12 and a half, I knew right away that I wasn't going to have enough space between where the tire would sit and the knuckle. So I knew I had to push them out. You kind of stuck with a stock size wheel, really, a 17 by nine. What made you go with that versus something that was larger, like an 18 or even a 19? Pretty much just the look of it. Like everything I had was, you know, Rangers, Jeeps that all had, you know, smaller rim, bigger tire. And I just love the way that just more of the old school style looks with more meat on them. All right, so let's jump back over to the tires then. Again, you're running the Ironman Mud Country and these are 35 by 12 and a half inch R17s. So 35s are a pretty significant increase for this truck, if I'm not mistaken. I know you said you had 33s on there previously. So what made you jump up to the 35s? Well, when I decided to do the Rough Country four inch lift kit, I knew there was gonna be like a lot of wheel gap in between. I wanted to fill it up. And again, going back to the off-road and then taking trips, have something that would give me you know, a little more clearance over some obstacles. So I decided to just make the jump, even though the tires were still in great shape, I ended up just selling them to one of my buddies and I just bought new tires. All right, so these are designated as mud terrain. So they have that pretty intense tread pattern. Um, they're pretty aggressive, as you might say. So why these as opposed to say like a regular all terrain? I had these on my old Jeep and I really liked them. Uh, they did have a hum to them. It wasn't anything absolutely absurd like I've had in the past, and they were a pretty reliable on-road tire even though they were more aggressive. So it was kind of a good mix to where I already had the tire for when I needed it, but it was still going to be decent on the road for you know my short trips to work and around town. You said you got a little bit of a hum to them. You know, if you're driving with the windows up, you pretty much just hear the radio, maybe the hum of the engine with a slight hum of the tire, but it's it's nothing that's going to you know rattle the truck or anything like that. So safe to say they ride pretty smoothly then? I barely have a steering wheel shimmy all the way up to probably 80 miles an hour. I'm, I'm really impressed with the quality of the tire for the price. Since you upsized the wheels and tires, did you have to do any calibration? Did you change the gearing to get this speedometer or odometer corrected? The only thing I did was I set the, um, I have an SCT tuner, so I just adjusted the, uh, what was it, a res per mile, I believe it's called, uh, and just adjusted that for the size. So since you had the truck when it was totally stock too, how would you say it handles and rides versus stock basically when you got the thing? I would have to say that stock, you know, typical comfort ride, you know, still a truck, 
fun. Overall, it was pretty smooth. When I went to the four inch lift kit, and especially with the coilover change from the stock struts, it's drastically different. It feels more stock than it did with any leveling kit prior. So let's jump over to the suspension then. Again, you're running that Rough Country four inch lift kit with Freedom Off-Road upper control arms and the Freedom Off-Road one to four inch adjustable front coilovers. And I know you said you got the bigger tires because you did the lift kit. What made you choose going up the extra size? Was there a, a specific reason behind it? Pretty much just having the uh the adjustability, the um, off-road ability and clearance and everything. The coilovers being adjustable, if I decided to throw six inch lift springs on the back, you know, and different shocks and everything, I would be able to just adjust the coilover a little bit and I'd be good to go. I wouldn't have to go buy any new spacer or any new kit or anything like that. Did you have any fitment or rubbing issues with the wheels and tires as the truck sits now? No. None at all. The adjustable coilovers, aside from the adjustability, was there anything else that drew you to those out of the gate? I'm really impressed with how they are. I like the adjustability of them. They could be a little softer for off-roading, but daily driving, they're, they're comfortable, they're nice. How do you think the truck looks with this current setup? Are you happy with how it looks? Yeah, I, I love the way the wheel and tire, you know, the, the lift kit. I love the whole setup of the truck. The only thing I plan on doing down the road is, you know, some different bumpers and maybe some rub rails instead of the steps. But overall, I love the way it looks. I love the way it performs. Is there anything else on that list? Uh, yeah, if the engine ever has a problem, I'm thinking about Godzilla swapping it with the 7.3. Next step would probably be once these 35s wear out, I might consider going to a six inch with 37s and then re-gearing the, uh, the front and rear. Anything that you'd do differently with this setup? The only thing I would probably do differently would be probably the wheels initially. With, with having to buy the spacers to get the clearance I needed, I probably would have just went with a wheel that's like a negative 12 offset or something. to kind of push that wheel out where I want it and still give me the clearance. That's the only thing I would really change rather than running this, having to run the spacers. All right, well, Rob, thank you so much for talking through your truck with me. It's my pleasure. Again, to recap for everybody here, Rob is driving a 2006 Ford F-150 STX 4x4. He's got 17 by nine inch Raptor Gen 1 style wheels with a plus 34 millimeter offset. And he's also got the Supreme Suspension one and a half inch wheel spacers for an aggressive stance. His tires are Ironman Mud Country 35 by 12 and a half inch R17s. And his suspension is a Rough Country four inch lift kit with Freedom Off-Road upper control arms and the Freedom Off-Road one to four inch adjustable front coilovers. Thank you all for watching too. And remember for all things F-150, be sure to keep it right here at americantrucks.com.